against the Dominican Republic. So they just have to protect the ball better in this fourth quarter, the Dominican Republic. And find a way to stop Brazil getting those turnovers and getting those second chance opportunities. point off a Brazil turnover Brazil have 14 off of Dominican Republic turnovers it's a three for Brazil right from the start of the fourth quarter Giovanoni really coming up big in the second half and he now has 12 points go off the backboard for Dominican and Brazil will scramble to get the defensive board Giovanoni now five of six from the field magnificent performance inside and put in by Batista and Brazil have scored the first two baskets the fourth quarter and lead by six and Dominican Republic responding with Ramon put it by Luz for three rebound grabbed by Greer Final eight minutes here. This is Ramon. And Baez attacking and around the body. And Batista gets the basket and the foul. And Baez moves into double figures and has a chance to add one from the line. Ulysses Baez off the bench for Dominican Republic, the first player into double digits for them. It has been a well-balanced offensive performance from the Dominican side. 11 points now for Baez, 9 apiece for Garcia and Faldin, 8 apiece for Vargas and Martinez. Brazil lead is only two points. Difficult shot, but Larry Taylor gets that one to drop. Two of five from the field for five points. Brazil double their advantage, but for how long? Garcia into a crowded lane, but puts it in. Stops and pops, Garcia. Taylor again steps back for the two. Can't hit this time. Ramon picking out Martinez. Nice pass from him in towards Baez, and he's caught on his way to the rim. So Ulis Baez will have a chance to tie the game from the line. And from behind by Felicio. With a big pat on the back. Nine 
points per game, 5.6 rebounds per game in 24 minutes last season in the ACB for Gran Canaria. He's a 74% free throw shooter from last season, but he hits both here for the Dominican and levels this one at 64. Opportunity to shoot from outside past up. Now move back to Taylor. This is Huertas. Huertas looking for the pass to Batista. His shot off the mark. And it's Dominican ball and a chance to take the lead. And Brazil started to get away. They just pulled them back in. And here they are with a chance to take the lead with six minutes to go. Ramon. Some tenacious defense from Brazil. And a foul that Alex Garcia is not too happy about. He knew there was minimal contact, but there was contact there. So Francisco Garcia gets a chance at the line to add to his 11 points now. He's two of two from the free throw strike so far this evening. Can't hit here though. Four of eight from the field, Garcia. That's the second free throw. To give the slenderest of leads to the Dominican Republic. Martinez tries to fall and make the save. He's holding his face. It was a rather laboured fall out of bounds to try and keep it alive, but you have to credit his commitment to the cause. He's taken a blow for his troubles. And six minutes remaining here in the opening game of the Tuto Marchand Continental Cup in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And all the games set to take place in this arena over the course of the next five evenings. And as soon as we have concluded this match, we'll have a short break before having the hosts in action, Puerto Rico against Canada. As we take a look at what happened here to Jack Mar Martinez. A painful fall indeed. It's been a very entertaining start to the tournament. It's uh, in effect a friendly warm-up tournament for the Fever Americas Championship which takes place, starts in around a week's time. Brazil are most definitely one of the teams to beat there. There's no doubt about that. The green and golds have won two of the last four Fever Americas championships. Finishes runners up in 2011. losing to their arch rivals Argentina in the ferocious final in Argentina a couple of years ago 80 to 75 it finished Dominican Republic took the bronze medal at the last championships beating Puerto Rico in the third place game Open two, nothing but net as the Dominican extend their lead to three. Halfway through the final quarter. Huertas, time for Brazil's stars to engineer a final flurry and Huertas scores 
his first basket in a long time now has eight points and Brazil back within one and speaking of first baskets Hetzheimer could do with one he's just picked up his third foul but he's 0 of 7 from the field does have seven rebounds Brazil pick up their fourth team foul shot clock down to five here for Dominican Garcia can't get a shot to go beaten away by Alex Garcia and Brazil can try and get themselves back in front Garcia finds Benite Alves Benite moved on by Giovanoni Brazil will step inside for two and off the glass Huertas thought that he was fouled Marcelino Huertas starting to take over deep in the fourth quarter now into double figures back to back baskets for the Barcelona Ray Galma Coronado to the rim and Dominican back in front and these two sides now exchanging the lead with four minutes to go in the opening game at the Tuto Marchand Continental Cup Huertas again guarded closely by Coronado and the foul Juan Coronado trying to play Huertas aggressively it's been a quiet 10 points for the Barcelona point guard but he's hit two baskets in quick succession just so the Dominican Republic take note of his abilities again here he is once more Huertas again makes it three in the space of the last minute or so and Huertas now has 12 points after hitting two of six field goals he's now hit his last three in a row the Brazil lead is one five seconds on the shot clock as the whistle goes for the foul by Garcia three minutes and 20 to play so Silva still the leading scorer for Brazil but overtaken in the game by Baez who now has 15 for Dominican Brazil have Puertas and Giovanoni in double figures as well with 12 points apiece the other man in double figures for Dominican is Garcia with 12 and we're tied at 70 after the split pair from the line with three minutes to go Huertas looking to get in again couldn't get the ball to Hetzheimer without a whistle Rafael Hetzheimer of Real Madrid last season and Marcelino Huertas of Barcelona who with a huge rivalry over the past few years at club level to combine in the final few minutes here of this game and Dominican forced the turnover and they'll look to get themselves back in front with the dribble off the knee and out of bounds with Brazil ball <laughs> Rafael Hitchheimer's averaged 3.6 points per game in the EuroLeague last season for Madrid 50 3% from two point range, 33% from three. But here this evening, it's 0 of 7 from the field and 0 of 6 inside. But Puertas has scored his last four shots in a row and now has 14. That's the Barcelona man taking over. Two minutes and 20 to go. Brazil with a two point lead. And the Dominican Republic can't thread the needle. And turn the ball over. And hand Brazil the.